the increased focus today on energy and climate and plain old home economics, you'll probably be hearing a lot about home energy audits. Why an energy audit? Let's say you're having chest pain. Do you call a heart surgeon and have him come swap out your heart for a new one? Or do you go get a physical to find out what's going on first? Maybe that chest pain is caused by indigestion. Maybe you pull the muscle. Maybe it's just too much stress. You don't want to take drastic actions before you know what's going on. And the same thing applies to your home. You may have rooms that are too hot or too cold, and it may not make sense to swap out your furnace. Windows might not be the right answer for you. The right energy audit is a great way to figure out what's going on in your home and how you can be more comfortable, make your house more energy efficient, and save money at the same time. But it has to be the right audit. A clipboard audit or a home energy rating that merely assigns a number to your house isn't the way to go. You want an audit that's accurate and actionable, that looks at the right set of issues, that looks at your house as a system, and that gives you an action plan with clear recommendations and clear steps that you can take to make your home better. A good home energy audit consists of a series of important steps. First, the audit should include a good interview with you, the homeowner. After all, it's your home, you know where the issues are, you know where you experience problems, and you are an important source of information for the advisor. The audit should include a good visual inspection of your house, both inside and outside. We often start outside looking at window condition and orientation, where there's venting or where there might be venting issues signs of ice or water problems, sun exposure, and typical construction details that often indicate or lead to problems. Then we move to a series of tests to help find and identify issues. We use a blower door to both measure the total leakage in a home and to help isolate air leaks so that we know where to focus and where to make the corrections. A big part of a proper assessment is combustion safety and gas leaks. About a quarter of the homes that we go into have some sort of combustion issue or a major gas leak. These are things that you want corrected and you absolutely need to know about before you do things like start tightening up your house or changing ductwork or swapping out equipment. A good assessment should also include the use of an infrared camera. The infrared camera can help us spot hidden defects that we couldn't find any other way. We do additional tests for duct leakage and to measure the airflow through both your HVAC system and the airflow through any exhaust fans you might have, a kitchen fan, a bathroom fan, etc. A good assessment should also include a thorough analysis of your utility bills, preferably over at least a 12-month period. Your home's usage pattern provide a really good indication of what's going on in the home. After your advisor collects the data and analyzes it, you get a report outlining the recommendations and prioritizing them so you know the clear sequence of steps that you need to take to get the results that you want. An important final step after the work is done is to do what we call a test out, which is essentially a reinspection and a retesting everything that was done in the initial audit to verify that measures were installed properly and that you're getting the results you expect and deserve. A home energy audit that looks at the entire house as a system, uses the proper diagnostic tools to figure out what's really going on, and puts together a prioritized action plan for you is a great investment.